Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning. It is the Earthmaster here on this Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, about 1047 a.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. A 1.4 earthquake here, the latest on the uh, Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here across the earthquake world and whatnot. Uh, as we zoom here to the North American plate, it looks like that one point four or one point five now is just a query blast over here around the Holbert or Holbert, uh, Oklahoma area. Kind of looks like it's up here in the hills and the mountains of uh, eastern Oklahoma. Some beautiful area up there. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the New Madrid seismic zone. We did uh, see a little bit of swarming kicking off here yesterday, and it looks like that is continuing uh, into today, at least into the early morning hours. Uh, a couple ones here, upper ones kicking in uh, just on the east side of the Mississippi River. There in, um, looks like east of Matthews, Missouri, uh, but at least the latest one here is 1.8. About 12 kilometers deep either way this is kind of a little bit of elevated uptick here in the last couple days across the new madrid seismic zone with approximately 18 earthquakes here the largest so far in this mix uh, a 2.8 again this is new madrid seismic zone a uh, fairly major seismically active and hazardous zone here across many different states and a large population here uh, within these states back in the 1800s there they had uh, some a series of damaging large earthquakes uh, so this little activity that we're seeing here just kind of gives us the um well the uh suspicion there that the fault is still alive and active and accumulating uh, some stress all right uh what else kansas what's going on up here in kansas couple earthquakes here 2.3 2.5 looks like within minutes of each other here uh, let's see what we got here for satellite imagery. <clears throat> not for sure if they have any uh, oil pumping operations out here or not. Um, I'm not really seeing anything too much uh, out here. I'm not really in a major seismically hazardous zone. Just looks like a couple smaller earthquakes there being hit uh, today in that area. All right, let's see low activity into New Mexico as well, and also down into western Texas. All right, checking out the California area, the West Coast. This has been kind of the hot spot of activity here for earthquake activity recently. Uh, a lot less active, it looks like today. <clears throat> In fact, uh, according to the USGS, no earthquakes being reported at all since uh, yesterday afternoon. <clears throat> so, with that in mind, I need to double check and make sure, right? So there is a website uh, anyone can go and check out. I did see here in the chat room someone asking about the link uh, to this website I'm using here. I'll, I'll include it again in the description of the video um, once the video is uploaded here. But this is going to be the uh, link up here. So the site to check out around the swarming area is going to be listed here on this map just north of Mexicali. Uh, and I've been kind of looking at, um, let's see, I think it's this seismograph station here, uh, El Centro. And the most recent imagery is going to be this one right here. That's going to be the uh, recorded webby quarters. So most of the time when you're looking at a, um, you know, a drum, an earthquake drum, it's going to be these squiggly lines. And whenever there's an earthquake, there's going to be these spikes, so to speak. And that's still kind of what we're seeing today. Um, but it does look like it's dying off slightly here compared to the previous days, even on this type of graph, but there's still definitely some earthquake activity. Uh, it looks very small, but still, um, to me, this looks like earthquake activity here, kicking up, uh, across the, uh, just south of El Centro area in Southern California. So a little bit of, uh, Activity continuing, but nothing here being reported across the, uh, the USGS map. What is being reported? Well, I mean, double check. Mag largest magnitude. There we go. I need to bring this up. I keep forgetting to switch that back to the newest. 
Let's double check here. But that that's definitely true for uh, this area. There's nothing uh, reported since it looks like about uh, 9 o'clock last night. All right, so what is being reported as far as newest activity goes? Looks like look, kind of looks like a little bit of movement away from the swarming area. Uh, nothing, nothing. Um, I don't see anything that's worth chatting about specifically. Just a typical day in Southern Cal. It looks like with uh, some small microquake activity. No swarming to report here across the area of the USGS map. Uh, further up north here in the Northern California, we did have a little activity yesterday here off the uh, Point Arena area. That's just on the uh, San Andreas Fault here, the kind of the northern segment. Uh, a little bit further up north here as well, Cascadia Subduction Zone. Uh, we did see a 2.3. It's going to be the latest quake down here on the Mendocino uh, Fault System here. It's basically the northern end of the San Andreas Fault. And also a 2.8 coming in late last night, uh, just into the, well, it's a Cascadia subduction zone because it is 16 kilometers deep here into that area, upstream of the trimmer. So we'll see what trimmer looks like a little bit later tonight. Uh, we haven't really seen any major uptick in trimmer over the last couple days. It's been dwindling down with only 14 epicenters of trimmer up here. Uh, at the uh, Vancouver Island ranges there in the northern end of the, the uh, Cascadia. Northern Cal, nothing showing up. But again, this could change. We'll see depending on uh, depending on what's going on down there. All right, uh, let's see what else we have across the area. Alaska, very minimal activity. Not a whole lot showing up here uh, into the region. Mostly all small microquakes up there. In fact, only one earthquake above the 2.5 level and that's going to be a 3.7 from yesterday so things uh looks like they're kind of taking a break out here across the uh northern and the eastern section here of the pacific plate boundary uh, down into the south america region a couple earthquakes from yesterday and today looks like um latest of 4.5 san fernando san yeah san fernando uh peru area this one uh, somewhat deep here into the Peru Chile Trench, 141 kilometers deep here underneath this area. So we'll watch for some potential further movement upstream. Uh, it doesn't look like we've seen it yet. A little bit of activity down south into the uh, Chile area as well. This region has been seismically active. All right, kind of the bigger story, bigger picture out here today. We did see a little bit of elevated movement out here around Samoa with a 5.5 um, coming in this morning. Originally, I think this came in, I was looking on my phone uh, when this came in here, originally was a, uh, I think a six pointer, if I remember correctly. So a pretty good downgrade there. But the USGS 5.5, 37 kilometers deep. Since then, it looks like a little adjustment taking place due west of the plate boundary here. That's a general plate movement. Uh, According to this map here, look at the uh, arrows in the region. Here's the uh, Samoa area. General plate movement with that momentum transferring westward along that plate boundary. Uh, we had two uh, earthquakes there following that movement in Samoa, 5.2 and a 4.8. Over here around the Solomon Islands, most of this activity here uh, and westward is from yesterday around New Guinea. Let's see what we got going on nothing going on in New Zealand uh, according to both of the agencies here the EMSC and the um, USGS looking at the GeoNet servers for New Zealand shows up uh, just a 2.5 about an hour or so ago I didn't I didn't feel it looks like a few folks did report filling it though um, Two of them, to be exact. Two reports. Quick glance here at the earthquake drums. This will give us a better indicator of what's going on out here. Um, <clears throat> looks like about 12 hours or so ago. Had a little bit of movement. Um, centered. Let's see exactly where that's at. Let me see if I can find it on the uh, 
earthquake map here. I'm guessing that's going to be that 3.5 possibly. Alright, well, a little bit of activity. I was just looking at this um, this little signal here on the Webby Quarter showing up more specifically on the, it looks like the western side here of the North Island, New Zealand area. Uh, let's see what we got for volcano drums here across the area. <clears throat> Nothing going on. Uh, it is picking up that earthquake that was um, on the Webby quarters as well, the earthquake drums. Hard to say exactly where this is centered at, uh, potentially. Um, around the uh, Taupo super volcano, maybe. Hard to say. But either way, just one earthquake being reported. I don't see any major swarms. No, no uh, tremendous uptick in earthquake activity there across New Zealand for now. Big Island of Hawaii. Well, latest quake shows a 1.8, 2.6 kilometers deep. Still watching this area for some movement. Uh, it's been fairly active with swarms here recently. Uh, across the Myanmar area up here, actually into China, it looks like. 4.6 and a 5.3 earlier this morning. Uh, aside from that, very quiet conditions prevailing across the Java Trench region for now. Uh, even the Mediterranean area over here calming down. Not a whole lot of elevated activity. A um, lot less than what it was here a couple days ago, so... Things are taking a break throughout that area. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. So kind of right now, it looks as though uh, the momentum and activity has kind of shifted south here of the equator, um, focusing more on the regions around the um, Samoa area, Tonga Trench, and the South America area. But still, uh, keeping an eye up north here into the California region. We'll definitely watch that. One 2.6 coming in nearly uh, near the uh, Stanley, Idaho area. Just off the Sawtooth Fault Zone, it looks like 16 kilometers deep. Uh, Yellowstone, let's check that out real quick. <clears throat> Got some rain coming in here to California today, a little bit. And cold, 55 degrees, only supposed to be 60 out here today. So last week we're, we were in the upper 90s. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. Nothing going on for uh, Yellowstone. Looks fairly quiet across the area. Let's see. Aside from that, folks, um, yeah, just a little pause in uh, earthquake activity for now. Um, but I am still leaving up the earthquake watch for California, at least for today. We'll see how conditions uh, go on throughout this evening, and we'll make an adjustment tomorrow. All right, uh, space weather activity. <clears throat> Things are, uh, look, kind of looks like they're calming down here as well. Not quite as active, it looks like, uh, across the sun currently for the solar flare activity. Although we are still looking at potentially a 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 50, X flare around 10. And a look here at the sunspots uh, this morning. Gonna say goodbye to this departing sunspot. It's fairly complex. But uh, not going to be geo-effective too much longer if anything were to blast off. Uh, this sunspot up here kind of looks like it's degrading. Although it still does harbor a little bit of potential for uh, some flaring. And a couple different active regions coming across the eastern limb here of the sun. Uh, we got this one obviously we've been watching for the past couple days. Noteworthy, noteworthy to watch this area. Uh, it is fairly complex but also... A pretty large sunspot on the northeastern side here of the sun that uh, is going to be coming into view uh, here in the coming days. It looks promising uh, for some possible flaring. Uh, looks fairly large. And on the UV filter ray here, uh, this image of the sun does show uh, quite a bit of brightening going on, uh, which could indicate uh, some flaring over there on the eastern section of the sun. And of course, all that's gonna be rotating in the view for us to enjoy and hopefully get at least a uh, 
you know, some good solar weather activity here in the next week or so. Right now, no major aurora forecast, very minimal conditions there prevailing across the geomagnetic forecast. Space or the uh, Storm Prediction Center here today, not a whole lot happening across the area. A slight risk of some severe weather into extreme western Texas and eastern New Mexico. Not a huge threat for tornadoes. Looks like the main threat is just going to be some wind, probably some straight line winds with these um, thunderstorms and some rain. Quite a bit of rain out there. That's good. Uh, and looking at the... <clears throat> This was the day four yesterday, but it's now the day three on Thursday. It looks like a little chance of some severe weather, slight risk. This may get enhanced here around the northern end of the area up into Oklahoma. There's going to be a, um, well, the trough that's hitting us right now here in California is going to be scooting east and enhancing the weather out here in the southern plains uh, Thursday. And I think probably going to be extending well into the weekend and next week uh, for this area so we'll provide further updates as um, it gets closer but for now Thursday looks <clears throat> looks like it could be an interesting day for some weather out there alrighty let's see what else we have I think that's about it um, let's go over here to the uh, um, choo -choo 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 -choo. what's going on? Windy map. There we go. Here's our trough over here off the west coast, kind of uh, bringing in some crazy weather here. Just some rain, chances of thunderstorms as well today here. A little odd for May for us. Uh, but rain accumulation here. Kind of wanted to show you guys some rain totals um, coming up for the uh, Texas area for the next 10 days. Well, this this shows uh it shows some decent rainfall out here. Uh around the San Antonio area looks like a a few inches going to be reported out here or at least uh forecasted across a good portion of Texas up into Oklahoma as well. And uh some many areas across this region need some uh, rainfall very bad. They're in the extreme drought. Let's see if I can pull up that drought map here real quick. Drought monitor. We're going to use this one right here. Well, this is California. Look at that real quick. Goodness. We are completely out of the drought, which is good news. Um, looks like maybe portions up here around extreme northern California and down south in the desert into the desert areas uh, are somewhat dry, but for the most part, California is completely out of the drought. Um, now, I wanted to show you guys the rest of the country here. Uh, that includes a good portion of Texas out here, Oklahoma, and into Kansas as well, uh, dealing with some exceptional drought, uh, which is uh, hopefully going to be put an end to here over the next couple months. Supposed to be uh, uh, some fairly impressive rainfall according to some long long range models uh, showing quite a bit of uh, rainfall across the area. So that will help out a bit, I'm sure, uh, with getting rid of this drought. Fingers crossed, right? They definitely need the rain out there in that area of the country. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, enjoy my uh, Tuesday have some schoolwork I got to get done today, so I'm going to be inside doing that, getting uh, some stuff done. Also, watching the skies above me, seeing if we got any thunderstorms going on. If so, of course, I will be out there watching it because that's just who I am. I'm, I'm a uh, a lover of weather, so to speak. I'm definitely big into the uh, the conditions that uh, we're seeing right now. Much cooler weather. Not a big fan of the heat, right? Who wants 115 degrees? I don't know. I'm Not me. All right, folks. I'll, I'll be quiet. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Take care.